Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to Uganda, and I welcome you to this presentation. But for, first and foremost, allow me uh, to appreciate the team that has organized this webinar uh, on discovering export opportunities in Uganda. And uh, I want to thank them uh, for fostering investment and trade uh, globally and, taking, um, and I will welcome them to take up the new opportunities, especially in the trade and investment in Uganda. Uh, welcome to Uganda, the part of Africa. Uh, once again, my name is Dr. Paul Chalimpa, the Deputy Director General, Uganda Investment Authority. Uh, I'm going to make a presentation on the opportunities on trade and investment, as well as the incentives in Uganda. And the, uh, I will provide you basic information about Uganda and uh, as well as the trade and investment opportunities, uh, uh, the upcoming opportunities, as well as the one-stop center. Now, Uganda is the part of Africa. Uh, in terms of GDP, Uganda's GDP is, is at five uh, million dollars. As, as, as of 2019 uh, World Bank report, and our population is now uh, over and above 44 million people, which provides opportunity for growth uh, and development in trade and investment. Uh, our economic growth, uh, according to the World Bank report of 2021, uh, in, 20, in, in, in 2019, the growth was at 6.8%. Uh, but due to the effect of COVID-19, uh, restrictions on business and other trade uh, activities, it, it went down to 2.9 in 2020. Uh, but now, uh, with the, the vaccination and opening up of business activities, uh, they, we expect that the economy will rebound back and uh, all interventions geared at promoting export and business are on high, in high gear to ensure that trade and investment is back and running. Our export potential uh, to Sub-Saharan Africa is among the highest, and uh, as of 2018, it was at 49.7 percent, and. Uh, IFDI, according to NACTA 2020, is US dollar 1.2 billion. So uh, we are talking about a country in Africa uh, where uh, the market for growth is highly uh, fertile, where there is peace and stability, which is uh, Uganda is at the heart. Of the, East Afri of, of the East African continent, uh, of the East African community, uh, surrounded by Kenya, uh, Rwanda, uh, Burundi, South Sudan, DRC Congo. So when you are in Uganda, you are at the center of all these countries. Uh, when you are producing in Uganda or doing trade in Uganda, you are able to serve and reach out to all these countries. Uh, let's go to the uh, Uganda's trade and investment opportunities. Uh, according to, uh, if you are looking at the, the value of Uganda's exports in millions, uh, gold is number one in terms of US dollar. We are looking at uh, one trillion. Uh, uh, okay, it's, if you can uh, read it the way it is, it is 1,118 million dollars. Uh, coffee, as exports, as of 2019-20, was 
was 4,497 uh, uh, million dollars. If you are looking at also exporting fish, if you come into Uganda and you are dealing in fish export, uh, the fish export as of 2019-20 was in million dollars was 146 million US dollars. Uh, cocoa beans, that's an area which is fertile also. If you are coming in Uganda to uh, to invest and uh, export, which was 89 million dollars. Uh, because in Uganda we have fertile soils, so that area is still open for uh, uh, investment. Tea uh, accounted in 2019-20 accounted for 71 million dollars, and maize 100 million dollars, uh, and cement 59 million dollars. Now, where you see the low values, these are areas of investment for export. Now, moving away from uh, exports, when you go to the imports, uh, Uganda's imports, when you go to the major products in terms of uh, million dollars, uh, the medicines in doses, uh, uh, the value uh, of trade uh, for 2019, 2020 was $90 million. Uh, so if you are coming to invest in Uganda for import substitution, or if you are looking at trading for those who want to bring in the major products in Uganda, for the medicine, for those in pharmaceuticals, uh, the value uh, as of 2020 was $90 million. Uh, uh, the trade value for passenger vehicles uh, was at two million. Plastic and rubber footwear was 25 million. Uh, the telephone and uh, the other uh, fax switching apparatus was 21 million dollars. Iron and steel, uh, uh, the trade value was 19 million dollars. The textile accounted for 13 million dollars. Computer, computers and uh, the other uh, parts, office machine parts, accounted for $13 million, $12 million. The medical, dental, and veterinary instruments accounted for $11 million. So you can see that if you are coming to invest in Uganda or you want to come and uh, to, to export to Uganda, we are showing you all these opportunities for businesses. Now, when you move to the key sectors uh, for investment, the first one, which is the primary one for Uganda, is that is in the area of agriculture and specifically in agro-processing. We are talking about value addition. And uh, the, the, if I can highlight before going into detail for each of them, the major crops for value addition include coffee, cotton, cocoa, maize, bananas, grain, grains, vegetables, milk, and meat. And the post-harvesting areas are mainly in the, the processing plants, abattoirs, storage facilities, transport and logistics, farm inputs, plant and machinery, assembling, assembling of equipment, and agricultural laboratories. Now, specifically, we have done some assessments of uh, the viability of some of these uh, opportunities. Now, one of them is the investment in mid-size export grading facility for specialty coffees. Uh, around Kampala and other major uh, cities in Uganda, we are looking at capacity or output of 71 tons or 70 kilograms coffee bags uh, per day. And the investment capital from our feasibility study is US dollars 3.8 million. And uh, this, uh, with 100% equity, the, the project uh, will generate you uh, a net present NPV of around 
906,000 US dollars. So we have done some feasibility studies of some of these projects and you, you can come directly, you, you access this information and you're able to invest in uh, the mid-sized export grading facility for specialty coffees. So uh, this information is available for in form of investment opportunities or projects which the investors can access. The second one in, uh, is the dry processing facility for Robusta coffee, which we have done also the, a study on that. Uh, this one is very viable outside Kampala in areas where coffee uh, is mainly grown in those areas. And uh, we are looking at the output capacity of 3,750 tons uh, of dry coffee fruit annually. And uh, you need about US dollars uh, to, to 210,000 US dollars for this investment. And uh, you'll get uh, the NPV is 289,000. And the payback period for this facility, our investment, will be 3.75 years, just between three to say four years. Uh, you'll have gotten back your investment. Uh, the other specific, uh, if I'm talking about the investment incentives under this uh, agro-industrialization broadly, for all the other products, which include coffee, cotton, cocoa, maize, uh, bananas, grain meals, vegetables, milk, meat, so for all those, you will be uh, the major incentives uh, for you, which are available from Uganda, is that you will get a hundred percent exemption from tax on the income you earn from agro processing. Government will not charge you money uh, any tax on that uh, in terms of uh, your income, income tax. You also get a one hundred percent exemption on expenditure on all the scientific research on agriculture uh, or agro-industrialization. Uh, the government of Uganda also provides a 100% exemption on your training expenditure for the specialists, for all the staff uh, that you employ. Also, the uh, government of Uganda provides you tax holiday for 10 years on the export, on the export of finished consumer and capital goods, and 30% is also charged for, for each year thereafter after the allowable deductions. So after even the 10 years, you'll be able to have some tax uh, benefits up to 30%. Uh, you also have exemptions on export processing zones, on imported raw materials, and uh, intermediate goods, including machinery and equipment, spare parts, uh, for, exclu for exclusive use in the free zones. In Uganda, we have set up free zones, and you are, you, therefore you can set up your facility or industry or processing plant in a free zone where you are not, a, you not you'll be exempt from those uh, taxes. But also in the other industrial parks, which are not in the free zones, uh, you'll be able, to, since as long as you are in agro-industrialization agro or adding value to agricultural products, you'll be able to benefit from all those investment incentives. Now, the other incentives also include exemption from custom duty on plant and machinery. So you don't pay those taxes, uh, on custom duty tax, on the plant and machinery which you import and you utilize here for uh, value addition, uh, agro-industrialization. Um, uh, let me move directly to the mining sector. Uh, the mining sector pre presents a lot of uh, opportunities, uh, especially the areas of uh, the development of copper and, and cobalt mines. Uh, 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 my friend Dr. Karuhanga will be presenting more on the minerals and the oil and gas. Uh, iron and steel processing, that's an opportunity. Uh, salt processing factory has an opportunity, uranium, lime, 
uh, limestone mining as well as phosphate processing. Now, we have done some studies for specific investments uh, where we have uh, these feasibility study reports. Now, specifically, on copper and cobalt, uh, there's an indicative reserve of up to 6 million metric tons uh, uh, for copper and cobalt, 5 million metric tons. And uh, the deposit quality, uh, this value uh, by location, and uh, they have one of the of, of the of the the copper uh, the areas which has a lot of this uh, uh, copper, which has copper in Kilembe, and the grading is at uh, 1.77 percent pure copper. And the indicative return for this project for this investment is uh, between 20 and 25 percent. So. We have done studies on these feasibilities, which uh, the investors, any investor would want to take up this, would need to utilize this information as uh, uh, so the, the, the attractiveness of the investments here. Also, the incentives here under copper and cobalt, you will get 100% cost recovery on exploration, development and production, as well as 100% deduction of, of scientific research expenditure, as well as 100% tax allowable training costs. Um, you also get indefinite cash relief on the tax, which is deemed VAT, uh, on supplies for the contractor, for the investment in the copper and the cobalt. Um, also, this applies also the VAT exemption for the inputs to mining uh, those ones not cover under the, 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 the cash relief. Also, you, on machinery and spare parts, uh, for the direct and executive uh, use in the mining, though those are exempted from import duties, uh, according to uh, East African Community Customs Management Act. So, this uh, good area, potential area for investment and the mining, Iron ore uh, in southwestern Uganda is another investment area for you. And uh, the indicative reserves here for iron ore are up to 150 million metric tons. Uh, and the deposit quality is very high, uh, up to 55 to ranging between 55 to uh, 68%. And uh, the indicative return here is between 22 to uh, 26% uh, with a break-even period of about six, uh, between six and 10 years. So uh, there are a lot of tax incentives here, uh, ranging from indefinite cash relief of VAT on supplies by the contractors, as well as uh, the VAT exemption on the inputs. Uh, to mining, as well as the machinery and spare parts, are also exempted from uh, import duties uh, as per the, the East African Community Customs Management Act. So uh, the other mineral also, which we have studied and we have provided uh, statistics or data, is phosphate, uh, with the reserves up to 50 million metric tons uh, uh, the post quality very high, certain uh, percent indicative return of also of between 22 and 26 percent, and the tax, tax incentives are also normal here, 100 uh, percent uh, cost recovery on exploration, development, production, 100 uh, percent deduction of scientific research, also 100 percent tax allowable on training costs, and definitely cut relief, just like the other uh, the other products. Now. Uh, in the infrastructure, uh, the investments uh, are mainly in the industrial parks, uh, operations. Free, we also have free zones, free economic zones. Uh, but also in Uganda, as you are aware, that we have a lot of opportunities in ICT, 
especially so the opportunities in ICD parks, especially putting up distribution centers, business process outsourcing, BPO, innovation centers, and uh, uh, Uganda is also upgrading its uh, airports and, uh, and uh, the, the bridges and uh, road infrastructure for cross-border and uh, within, within Uganda for, trans for movement. So there are also opportunities in the establishment of pharmaceutical manufacturing plants. Now, specifically uh, uh, on infrastructure, there's something on tourism where you ha we have the opportunities for establishment of luxury accommodation, conservation of heritage, heritage sites, development of water transport, and the water-based tourism uh, for motorboating, surfing, uh, wind surfing, sport and big game fishing, white water rafting, uh, boating ventures, sail training ad adventures, as well as uh, scuba diving, free diving, among others. So when we go specifically to industrial parks in Uganda, we provide free licenses for investors who don't pay. And also government has land in, uh, across the country in uh, all the regions and has designated land uh, which you give for free to investors based on the application and the nature of the business they are going to do according to the plan. But most of the agro-processing investments, uh, all, all, all categories of industries are actually accommodated in the Uganda industrial parks. So we give you the land there, and the industrial parks are being developed with access roads and uh, uh, power and water. So that makes it easier to, to do investments there. And uh, the investment capital required on average for industrial parks is about 600 million US dollars. Uh, uh, which, have, uh, which has been invested there by the government. But, and uh, these uh, investments are across the country, uh, the industrial parks across the country in the, all the regions. And as I said, you get free land there for the industries and then uh, access, free water, access to water, it has power high voltage power for the industries. Now, the tax incentives for industrial parks uh, are enormous. Uh, they range from 10 years tax exemption for foreign investors uh, who access this land for free and uh, also have access to the, the, the power, water, and all the other facilities, including land. Uh, you get 10 years tax exemption on VAT, on value added tax, for all those developers. Also, you have 10% uh, tax allowable on training costs, uh, as well as the, the accelerated deductions uh, of the allowances on plant and machinery. Um, we also have uh, these exemptions on your equipment as a moving equipment and machinery, which you deploy for the development of industrial parks as well as the free zones. And there's also exemption on the supply of construction materials when you are doing your investment. So the construction material you utilize are exempted from taxes. Um, as well as the equipment you import is also duty free. There are also non uh, tax incentives uh, which are the tarmac roads uh, for the existing in the, uh, park sites. We pro the, the, the land which we provide to you uh, is surveyed and, is, and has serviced uh, uh, with the Maram roads. Others have tarmac roads. And uh, there is access pipe power voltage. And each of the industrial parks have substations uh, to make sure that there's, there's dedicated power 24-7, uh, 365 days a year. Uh, there's access to water in all these parks, as well as the infrastructure, such as uh, the, the soft and the 
hard infrastructure, including the internet. Um, now, if you invest here in Uganda, you have unrestricted remittance of profits after tax and by your, the, the investor. So you are, each investor, an investor is free to, uh, to, to, take, to, to, to reinvest, to invest the, the profits made from Uganda in another country or in the home country, in, in this case, uh, Malaysia. So there's no restriction on the movement or remittances of your profits after tax, which you have earned from Uganda here. So you, your business, uh, 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 your businesses can expand, and uh, electricity costs are very are low, relatively in the region, and uh, around the US dollar 0 0.085 uh, per kilo, kilowatt per hour. And the labor availability here is very, the labor costs are very low, but skilled labor force here. Uh, uh, salaries or costs of labor is negotiable because we have a lot of uh, available labor force. So in Uganda, we have not set the minimum uh, wage because they want the forces of demand and supply to determine that because we have a lot of skilled labor. So uh, worker permits, in terms of visa, there is that allowance of uh, US dollar uh, 400 annually for investors in manufacturing or processing. And as I've said, there is water connection across all the industrial parks. Now, UIA has a dedicated one-stop center for the investor services. The one-stop center is uh, an online facility uh, uh, maybe before that, I indicated about the DICT parks as part of the infrastructure uh, opportunities for investors. ICT parks for innovation centers, business process outsourcing, uh, as well as the development of water transport and the establishment of vocational training institutions. That's the education area as part of the infrastructure opportunities, uh, especially in agricultural sciences, as well as the mineral resource center. So uh, UIA, Uganda Investment Authority, the government of Uganda has set up a one-stop center for all investors to enable the investors physically as well as online to be able to accept uh, investment services. The online platform uh, is, is on www.ebs.go.ug. Now this online platform enables the investors to be able to apply for investment license in Uganda, which is free, which you get within uh, uh, between uh, 24 uh, to 48 hours. And you can get it online without physically having to come to Uganda. You're able to register your business online. You are able to get, uh, uh, to get permits, trade uh, permits or approvals online. You are able to register, you, are, you get business tax identification number or tax registration certificate online. You are able to get uh, tax advisory or registration advisory services from Uganda Revenue Authority online. If it is, you want to acquire land, we provide you uh, verification services for land uh, free of charge and online. You are able to get uh, clearances or back payments for utilities like power, water, and all that. You apply and make payment online. And if, if you want to move, uh, you have experts to work with in the industrial park or business park or business in Uganda. We provide you migration services online and uh, uh, for environmental aspects of compliance and advice. We're able to provide that also online. And if you want to get st uh, certification for your services, standard certification, you're able to do that online. And also the banking services are available online. But also we provide these also to uh, the physical offices in Uganda, uh, at Uganda Investment Authority, Business Facilitation Center, 
But also we have regional offices in Uganda, which we're establishing in all the cities, starting from uh, uh, across the country, across the five cities. We're having the one-stop center physical as well as the online uh, one-stop center. So uh, the enormous opportunities uh, but only I've mentioned a few because my colleagues also who are going to present, uh, Dr. Olive Chigongo, Eric Karwang, all these are going to mention, to mention and bring out other opportunities available to, uh, for investment and trade in Uganda. So uh, for uh, East Africa and Africa, Uganda is the preferred investment and trade destination because we are open to trade and business and the opportunities therefore for all these other countries around us uh, can be tapped when you are in Uganda. I thank you and uh, I will come to Uganda, the part of Africa, the opportunity, the land of opportunity for trade and investment. I hand over to the moderator. I thank you.